My name is Gregory, my surname is Joseph, and I'm the cable guy. That's my occupation. I like to write stories and I had a story that I wanted to tell and it seemed the connection with Adam Small. Um, just the whole idea that Adam Small fought for or in his life was a protagonist for people who were unheard and that's what I wanted to tell was the story of somebody who's never been heard of. My play is about a slave woman, Angela from Bengali, related as well to her daughter Anna, Anna de Quinnen. I wanted to bring her voice. We've heard about slavery, everyone knows how hateful it was, but no one has ever written about a particular slave. What was she like? And I wanted to bring that out and I thought that it would be a nice juxtaposition with the kind of work that Adam Small did in his writing, in his crusade, to make the oppressed people be heard through his poetry and through some of his stories. I grew up in a very poor neighborhood. We were poor. And it always seemed to me that people ignored the poor people. When I became an adult, it was always in my background that this thing of wanting to be heard. And one of the ways I was heard was by writing. At the same time, I carried with me the whole purpose of my writing was to make people who had been uh, oppressed or served with injustice in one way or the other, to bring them to life. And I've written stories like that, and that's, I was hoping that in my life I would uh, appeal to people on the humanitarian basis. I would be a better person for it. And I hope that when people speak to me, they will see that it's a genuine thing and not just a flash. The process of mentorship has been very important and it's been inspirational. And I probably am a better writer now than I was before, and which is fantastic for me because I will still keep on writing. And I think in the future, I will always remember the input from the mentor and hopefully it will be reflected in my next, next day.